The 2023 football season is fast approaching. Today on Midwest Sportsnet, we'll take a look at each weekend during the NAIA regular season, highlighting some of the top games on the schedule for this year. The season gets underway in late August, and a couple of perennially strong teams will meet in Week 0 in what could easily pass for a game that could be played in December. There will be new quarterbacks at the helm for both Morningside and Benedictine, but this non-conference matchup should be a fun one to watch. The only prior meeting was a 35-28 victory for Morningside in the 2018 NAIA Championship game. Ottawa and Texas Wesleyan each claimed a share of the Sooner Athletic Conference title in 2022. Arizona Christian also shared the SAC title last season, but has moved on to the Frontier Conference this year. The winner of this game between the Spirit and the Rams should have an upper hand in the SAC early in the season. The Spirit are 4-0 all-time against the Rams. Kaiser and Lindsey Wilson usually reserve their meetings for the postseason. The Blue Raiders ended the Seahawks season in the NAIA playoffs in the spring of 2021 on the way to a national championship and in the fall of 2021 in the only two meetings for these two programs. This early season matchup could easily be a precursor to what we could see later on. St. Thomas makes its first ever trip west of the Mississippi for an intersectional matchup with Carroll. The Bobcats went 9-2 in each of the last two seasons and aren't afraid to schedule big and are doing so heading to Montana to play at the home of the Saints, who have more national titles, six, than St. Thomas has seasons fielding a team, five, including 2023. Speaking of Carroll, the Saints won't have to wait long to host another strong program. Arizona Christian will travel to Helena for its first ever road game in Frontier Conference play and first meeting with Carroll. Indiana Wesleyan earned its first NAIA playoff wins last season and made it to the NAIA semifinals. St. Xavier is no stranger to the playoffs and earned a trip again in 2022. The two Mid-States programs will meet for the first time ever in this Midwest-Mideast crossover contest. Bethel finally got over the hump and beat Kansas Wesleyan in 2022, marking the first win for the Threshers over the Coyotes in the last 14 meetings. Both teams have been at or near the top of the KCAC standings frequently in recent years. This matchup could loom big later on for the league standings and a possible playoff appearance. Midland has had seven consecutive winning seasons and looked to be heading for an ever-elusive spot in the playoffs before falling last year to eventual national champion Northwestern in the penultimate game of the season. The Red Raiders could be cruising into this mid-season matchup at Midland as the Warriors will be looking to break a 20-plus year drought against Northwestern. Many thought St. Thomas did enough to earn its first playoff bid in program history with last year's 9-2 record. A win over Kaiser, the 2022 National Runners-Up, in Sun Conference play would go a long way toward gaining even more respect with the playoff committee. The Seahawks are 4-0 all-time over the Bobcats in the short series. Roosevelt was heading for a playoff spot last year, but two late-season losses derailed their season. The Lakers will be moving to NCAA Division II status after this season, so this will be their last shot in the NAI. Bethel is coming off an undefeated regular season in 2022, and this non-conference regional matchup could be a showcase opportunity for both teams. Southwestern and Bethel have each been a part of a three-way tie to share the KCAC championship in each of the last two years. Southwestern made the playoffs each year. Bethel missed the playoffs each year but Bethel beat Southwestern each year. I know, figure that one out. Although getting a win in this game clearly wouldn't assure the Threshers a playoff berth, it would be a strong statement for Bethel in this year's expanded NAIA playoff field. Morningside and Northwestern have been the marquee matchup of the season in recent years. The two teams have won four of the last five national championships. The Mustangs topped the Red Raiders by a point in the season opener in Sioux City last year. It would be the last time Northwestern lost all season. This year's game in Orange City promises to be another packed-out late October festivity. Georgetown won the first four games in this 13-year-old series. Lindsey Wilson has won the last nine, including a 23-17 victory in 2022. The matchup has taken on more notoriety since former Blue Raider coach Chris Oliver made the move to take over the Tigers program last season, and a playoff spot could be on the line here. These two teams met as top 10 teams last year as then number 7 Indiana Wesleyan beat then number 5 Marion. Both teams made the playoffs in 2022 and are likely to be there again in 2023. A win in this game could mean a divisional title in the Mid-States Mid-East and would give one team a lead in the overall series, which is now tied at 2-2. 
Bethel and Lindsey Wilson were both undefeated late in the season when they met, and the Wildcats handed the Blue Raiders their only regular season loss of the year. It's not a stretch to think the two could be undefeated when they meet again in the season finale for a Mid-South title. Our list began with Benedictine and will end with the Ravens. Mid-America Nazarene was still playing for a share of the Hart South title in the season finale against Benedictine last year and came up short. The Pioneers may be better in 2023 and could have a divisional title and playoff spot on the line in Atchison this year. Thanks for watching Midwest Sportsnet and please subscribe to the channel. God bless you. Have a great day.